manifest money only after learning this. See, to manifest money, you have to learn a few things. You have to learn about vibration. You have to learn about the different vibrations of life. You see, money is a vibration. There are many sub vibrations. Money as a whole has a vibration. A dollar has a different vibration than two dollars and three and so on. So in order to manifest money, the first thing that you must do is you must recognize the amount that you want to manifest. You must get clear with what you're trying to manifest. So instead of saying, I want to manifest a whole bunch of money, that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And that will bring you mediocre results at best. So the first step in order to manifest money with the law of attraction is you need to identify the amount of money that you're trying to manifest. Write it down. It's fun. How much do you want to manifest? How much? Some people want five grand a month, man. Some people want a hundred grand a month. Some people want a hundred million dollars. Some people want a billion. How much money do you want? You got it? Okay. Now, once you've identified the amount of money that you're trying to manifest into your life, you need to match the vibration of that. Now, you may know that we are equipped with vibration indicators, our emotions. So what we feel when we're thinking about something, an emotion always follows a thought, consciously or subconsciously. So when you're having emotions about something and you feel a certain way, even when you're consciously not thinking a certain way, then you know that it's your subconscious thoughts. So maybe you're feeling sad and you're like, I'm not, I'm not feeling sad, I'm not thinking sad. That is your subconscious, my friend. And you have to change your subconscious if you want to change your life. So back to it. You have the amount of money that you want to manifest. Now, the fun part begins. You must train your subconscious mind to accept that. How do I know if my subconscious mind accepts the amount of money that I want? That's super easy to answer. Super easy. Look around. Do you have it yet? If no, then your subconscious does not believe what you're trying to tell it. If you want 20 grand a month, or if you want a hundred million dollars and you don't have it yet, it's because you do not believe at a subconscious level that you can have it. So what do you do next? You're going to do two things, two easy things. The first thing is you are going to reprogram your subconscious part of your brain. How do I do that? You do that with affirmations and you do that with subliminal reprogramming. The affirmations you can do out loud, but they must be in question format. The reason why they have to be in question format is because when you ask a question, the brain has to find an answer. But if you make a statement, it will shut the brain off if it doesn't match it. For example, why do I have a hundred million dollars in my bank? And you'll notice a subtle difference between that verse, I have a hundred million dollars in my bank. Why do I have a hundred million dollars in my bank? Say it. Do you notice the difference? Use question format. The most important thing for you to do is you have to listen to subliminals or listen to affirmations as you fall asleep and keep them on throughout the night. You see, when we're sleeping, we are subconscious almost entirely. And since we are subconscious almost entirely, we are susceptible to any suggestions. Our gatekeeper, our critical divine is asleep. So anything can get past when we are asleep. And this is why you say your affirmations at night. Because when you say them during the day, you're going to hit your critical divide. And think of it as like a gatekeeper. And it only lets in thoughts that the belief of the subconscious believe. So when you're sleeping, the gate is open and anything can pour into your mind. Listen guys, we are like computers, honestly. We are like a supercomputer. And we are programmed this same way a computer would be programmed. Ironically, it's weird but it's true. So in order to have the life that you want, you need to reprogram the subconscious mind. You need to reprogram the software. For instance, let's think about a computer game, right? Let's imagine we're still using CDs for some reason and we put a game in and now we're playing a uh, Skyrim or something, but we don't want Skyrim. We want to play uh, The Sims or something. And so we put The Sims in. But the thing is, The Sims would never play if we didn't put that program in. And it's the same thing with the subconscious. You have to put in the program that matches what you want in your life. The only difference is that it takes a little bit of time by reprogramming. So you do this. 
And during the day, I want you to visualize the life you want. This will supercharge everything. I want you to visualize the amount of money that you want. I want you to visualize living the life that you want with the money that you have. This will also reprogram your subconscious mind. All of these things combined create this powerful reprogramming of your life. And this is how you manifest money with the law of attraction. If you don't do any of this and you just visualize having a whole bunch of money fall on your lap right now and you get angry when it doesn't show up, the reason why you're getting angry is because your subconscious does not match that desire. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. You got to do the work. Listen, guys, I said this before. If it was easy, everyone would be millionaires. Everyone would be rich. Everyone would have the bodies they want, the health they want, the houses they want, the cars they want, the relationships they want. But they don't. And there's a lot of frustrated people out there. You can live the life that you want if you just put in a little bit of work. Most people aren't willing to do that. So this is where you come to a crossroads. Do you put in a little bit of the work to manifest what you want? Do you follow what is being said? Or do you give up, go back to your old life, and just get mad and wish you never learned about the law of attraction? It's your choice, but I hope that you try. I hope that you change your life for the better. Because we're all in this together, and we all are trying to manifest what makes us happy. So take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Catch you in the next one.